The software cannot autofocus if the image is very blurry. When the autofocus is complete, on the far right of the screen, a diamond-shaped button will turn from red to green and can then be selected, which begins the test. The indenter automatically rotates itself over the specimen and then lowers itself and loads onto the specimen 3 kilograms force. After 10 seconds it retracts and the magnifying lens rotates back over the specimen where the indentation can be viewed on screen. The software autofocuses and attempts to locate the corners of the indentation which is easier for it to do on a polished surface. However often it requires human intervention to locate them. The horizontal and vertical lines turn green when selected and have small red circles located on them. Each circle intersecting these lines needs to be located onto a corner of the diamond imprint. For a magnified view of the corners, in the top left hand part of the screen is a thumbnail image to assist locating the corners of the diamond shape. When done for each corner, the save icon is selected and the hardness vickers measurement is displayed on the left hand side results column. For aluminium cold drawn, the result is 102.6 HV3. If a clear image is not achieved that allows for measurements to take place, instead of moving the specimen by hand to another location for a new indentation mark and potentially catching the indenter's point, clicking and dragging the mouse over the screen image moves the platen with the same movements in the X and Y directions. The green indicator light is observed to ensure the indenter is not hovering over the edge of the specimen. Autofocus is required again as very few specimens are entirely flat across their full surface. The height of the platen will need adjustment especially with significant height differences between specimens and their holders. If the platen is not moved lower down in advance of the test, when the indenter moves into position it would cause damage to the equipment.